For this week's edition of It's the Law, it's a conversation that's making a lot of national headlines. It's been doing this for pretty much some time now. Police overstepping their boundaries. We've seen instances with Michael Brown uh, this year. Also right here in middle Georgia with Sammy Davis. A lot of people said that uh, police officers overstepped their boundaries there as well. Well, anyway, Jay Davis is here to weigh in on that. Jay, thanks for coming on with thanks. us. Thanks. Good to be here. Jay, a lot of people will say, does the families of, say, a, a victim in one of these police overstepping their boundary cases have the right to sue a police department? And the answer would be yes, no? Yeah. Like I always say, you always have the right to sue. Mm -hmm. You have the right to sue. Now, sometimes different government entities have immunity, so you can't actually sue. But for generally, you can always sue. And in this case, for a police department, you have to give notice, some anti-litem notices, it's called before. They get a little better hit. You might have two years statute of limitations with somebody else, where a government ent entity, you might be limited to six months or a year, and you have to file or at least give them notice within that period of time. What if we break down uh, particular cases or particular um, situations where, say, a police felt as though they were threatened, so they used deadly force in specific situations? You know, you would think that that stands in court, so I mean, can you fight that at all? You can always fight that because that's a factual basis. What did he, was he in, in fear of his life? Was it excessive force? There's not a clear cut line as to what that is. If, uh, if a police officer backhanded somebody who was attacking them with a knife or a gun, right. that's probably clearly not. But in most instances, especially if there's a death of somebody, and especially when there's a death by shooting, of a, a police officer shooting someone who was un unarmed, that's going to create some doubt somewhere, and that's probably going to make its way to a jury. All right, Jay, thank you so much. And as always, we want to hear from you. What legal issues have you had on your mind? Are you in any type of trouble? Remember, all your questions can remain anonymous. You can just send your email to it's the law at 41nbc.com, and we'll answer it right here Wednesdays on the News at 6.